we did that. The ballroom of the Palms Hotel in Abuja is filled to capacity as members of the Young Progressives Party elect their presidential candidate for the 2023 general elections. I'm a very fast learner. 74 delegates have been accredited, but before the voting commences, the two contestants engage in a debate over how they intend to address specific challenges facing the country. Security requires that you, good, you have good intelligence. And let me tell you, ladies and gentlemen, so one of my main games is to make sure that we get granular security from our traditional rulers that live amongst us. And that will give us a stronger nation and a more powerful security system. Nigerians are some of the most intelligent people on earth in every nation where they've been represented. So when we have a better nation building, we would, we, we would be able to attract our own coming home. And we would engage in what is called mass industrialization, massive technology that just will be created by the day. With the debate over, it's time to elect a candidate for the party. And using the option A4 method, delegates file behind the candidate of their choice. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. At the end of the exercise, Mr. Malik Ado Ibrahim emerges the winner after polling six to six votes out of the 70 votes cast. Nigeria, you've humbled me, and I will show you that you can be a great nation among great nations once again with a leader that can excel the leadership of the ypp is hoping to make a difference in the 2023 general elections the history of ypp is a political party that presents to nigerian the best 2019 we did it and again we are repeating it again for 2023 the YPP prides itself as the political party for young people in Nigeria and is banking on the voting powers of this class of electorate in the 2023 general elections.